Hi engineers, in this video we will look at the contribution graph of this React Native ChartKit library. This type of graph is often used to display a developer contribution activity. Suppose we want to record the count of an activity over a particular period of time. We can use this graph to display them. So here we see that the commits data as per the date is being recorded. So here the dark black is referring that to the highest count like 5 and the grayish light gray she is referring to one and this blank color is for those where there is no data so zero we will be looking into this contribution graph in this video so let's get started in the previous video we have looked into the stack bar chart demo for this video i will create a new file inside this src contribution graph demo and add it to this app.tsx I will first write some code taken from this library example and I will explain them after writing. I will later add some more props by which we can enhance its functionality more. So let me explain the code written. We see that some props are common as we seen in other graphs like height width. For this contribution graph, the values is the actual data, this commits data. Now the structure of this data is an array of elements where each object must have this date field. And the count is the default accessor. So we can change this accessor value. I will explain them. But for now, on a date wise this is the count like 1 2 3 4 and end date is the date which is the last date suppose here it is 2017-0401 I have taken this example from the github readme itself so the last day is this one the last one and square size is the size of this square and gutter size is the space between these squares so if we make it suppose 4 the size of the gutter have increased let's revert it to 2 chart config is similar like this four props we have already seen that it goes from yellow to light green so from the bottom left to the top right and color is the this color the color of this square make sure that to pass the opacity because what happens internally is depending on the count the library will throw the opacity so suppose if it is one then the opacity will be more so depending on the opacity we are changing this and this thing we can give on our own suppose for a red color we will give the rgb for this red color code now this props for label fill red and font width bold of this month like january february march so if we give here green then this will be updated to green ok now let's see some more props to enhance this ui first is this tooltip data attributes using this tooltip data attributes we can modify the styling of these squares so it will take in the value each value of this element and it will return the structure like currently it is a square we can return a circle by the rx and ry so if we give rx of 9 and ry of 9 so this will be a circle make sure to refresh the app once because otherwise these field pairs don't get updated to the circle now what i am saying is since this tooltip data attributes take this value if i console log this value
you see this data coming so what we can do now so we can now modify this logic such that if there is a count we can make the circle normal and if there is no count then we can decrease this radius of the circle so let's do that value dot count if it is there then we will make it 9 else 4 i will copy the same thing let's give it a refresh we see here that for the squares where the count is null the value of rx and ry is 4 and for those where there is a count value then the rx and ry is 9 so they are properly circle in this way we can write our own logic but there is a typescript issue with this library that the count is not getting supported so that is a ts wise issue but otherwise this logic is working another prop that we can use is the accessor prop now accessor props allows the library to determine which field it will take into consideration for determining the value so by default it is count so if you don't pass accessor then it is count but suppose we want to make it a different property name suppose i want to make it value so in that case we should be put here value now if i say see there is the data is not properly determined because we should give all of them the value property name so let's revert it i will uncomment it another prop that we can add is the suppose we want to display the date value or the count value on press of each square so for that we can put a prop on day press so on day press will pass in the param the count and the date and we can show them what is the value for this example i will take the alert and display the count and the date let's first refresh the app so if we now select a square since there is no count it is coming zero if i select this one count is five and this is the date so that's it for this video if you like this content please like this video and subscribe to this channel